for uh, for tomorrow. So everything is made from scratch. It looks like you you yeah. don't you don't fool around with canned beans. These are real. I just got some bags out of the beans. We're soaking them right now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make the whole thing from scratch. Uh, these are potatoes. We're gonna get these cut today. Now these are that. This is service for Friday and Saturday. Uh, Friday. We're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Three this, days. This is just for Friday. Friday. So you yeah. kind of prepare, prep, prep the meats and all the sides. Yep. All, all in all, we have about a hundred seeds. Okay. Uh, which is perfect. That that helps us uh, when we're cutting. We can pretty much cut as fast as we can and never worry about the dining room or the outside seating filling up because. Uh, that's 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 really what you want because you want to be able to cut and serve as fast as you can. So I can imagine after the yeah Texas monthly, this is your guys. Things have gone crazy, <laughs> pretty much, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're uh, I we're, can we're, 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 uh, we're significantly busier since Texas monthly gave us number one, and that, that that's to you know we we knew that you know with, with snows and Franklin being the number one um, the last uh, twelve years, and there just being a new number one, uh, I think a lot of people want to try them, and then. Being number one in DFW too is uh, also a little different. So uh, there's just a lot of people that want to try this place. So uh, we're excited for it, and we make sure that they're taken care of and, and, and that they enjoy it. You gonna you have a lot of capacity to increase yeah. production also. So yeah, we're getting yeah. we are getting another mill scale smoker uh, this month. So that'll be coming in here pretty soon. So we're excited. We're really excited about that. Okay. So these are your mill scales. Are these uh, custom built or the standard ones? Um. They, yeah, we have, we have some custom designs for okay. these. Uh, that they were they, they were able to do for us. These are the first couple that they built um, once starting mill skills. So um, I knew those guys from a long, long time ago before they were mill skills. Okay. So. Oh, the uh, what do you call it, Dr. Seuss thing? Yeah, this is the, uh, the Dr. Seuss uh, connector. So you got a reducer going in. Usually. So you got 12, 12, that's 12 inches out there. 12? Uh, yeah, yeah. So the reducer going in and a reducer uh -huh. going out. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the so like kind of what I call the Dr. Seuss design. This seems to be <laughs> yeah. extremely popular, right? It's all the Mobergs have it, you know. So uh, well, it's not like a Moberg. Moberg would th this wouldn't be here on Moberg. Mm -hmm. This one is what uh, this is what makes us different. Different, right? This, so this, this is kind of like a so it's usually this coming straight out of the smoke uh, the chamber uh -huh. and then reducer and then up. Okay. But we have a reducer going in and then a reducer going out. Okay. So this is a startup uh, on a Thursday morning. Folks, so at 5 a.m. Thursday morning, this is where the magic begins. It's gonna be a 80 hour plus journey. And uh, you guys are super duper, you know, be tough to be able to kind of do all that. It's just a small crew, right? Uh, basically, we just have me, uh, Lane, Jalen, uh -huh. PJ, okay. Nupon, and Chuck. I am Chuck. Uh, I'm one of the workers here, I guess. I'm Kyle Rensmeyer. I uh, live in Portland. I'm just here for the week cooking with these guys. So you were doing about 40, 50 briskets today? Yeah, depending on how and, uh, the quick stone primes. Okay. Maybe we have Chuck. Uh, Kyle will take me like, for like, part of the Yeah, like your secret process. Uh, seasoning, uh, I guess we trim them again. Someone goes through them again in the morning. Just make sure they're like absolutely perfect. And, and then we just uh, get a nice layer of pepper and lorries and salt, and that's pretty much it. Okay, all right. That looks beautiful. Okay, nice color. 20 inches away. Uh, yeah, I mean, the farther away that you are, uh, the easier it is to control. Okay. So you can get like an even. And, and, uh, and then of course the pepper has to be high quality, fresh, thick, yeah, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, it should be stale. There's no magic, it's just good technique, good, 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 good technique, and you know how much uh, salt you put on, right? Yeah. And then they'll slap, that does make it slap style. Not a yes, not good, then that's always still for you, it's still a slap. Slap, slap. So that's how it looks like? Yeah. We make Home, homemade bread. Wow. This is a first, right? I don't believe I, I've heard of any barbecue places that kind of like do it, you know, yeah. old yeast bread way, yeah. which is rare. Yeah, we'll mix the bread on Tuesdays, then we cold rise it. Yesterday we shaped it, and then we'll put it back in the fridge and we'll freeze the stuff for the rest of the weekend. And then we'll thaw it out the day before each day, and then we'll thaw it out in the mornings of to bake it for the next day, if that makes sense. Fire management. Uh, send it to the back. Bring the core forward. Give it a little. So you want to have the coals as low as possible. So that's why you need to spread them all the way through. And then uh, if you want to start a new fire and there's those other leftover pieces of wood that didn't burn down, then just push them to the back. So three across. We'll see where that goes. 
Oh, it lights up really fast and the wood is dry. Yes, three at the bottom and one on top. And the wood is super dry, so it's just ripping it. Yeah. Because I have the damper pretty close. Mm -hmm. So then I'm, I'm keeping the door kind of ajar. Maybe about an like inch, inch or two. And then that, that uh, exhaust is full open? Uh, no, it's like a three fourths closed. Three fourths closed, okay. I'm going to open up the pit. And the briskets have been in since about 6 30, so now it's been what, about uh, three hours, three ish? So they're they're drying up, they're, the bark is setting in, mm -hmm. and then uh, maybe in like an hour or more they're going to enter the stall, so stall. it's get, starting okay. to get wet. Yeah. And you have about what, 40 in here? Yes. 40, and then uh, the point is always pointing towards the fire, right? Yes. So So the flat's going towards the chimney. Mm -hmm. So, okay, looking good. What motivated you get started? Um, I worked at Franklin Barbecue when I moved to Austin. I went to UT Austin uh, for college, and while I, while I was at UT, like those four years, I worked at Franklin's. And I mainly did everything except cooking. Uh, they kind of didn't let me do that, so it was kind of sad, but uh, it was good money, so it got me through college, and I graduated, and I came over here to Goldie's, and I finally got to cook and really get a hold of every single thing. It's something that I've always wanted, and it's uh, since it has been a huge challenge, it just like keeps me going. Barb's BQ, wow, okay. <laughs> it might be Loading. next year. So you're gonna be part of uh, sort of the, you know, Goldie's alumni that have branched out and, you know, <laughs> you know. Back line smoker in here. Oh, wow. Or cold smoker. Sausage. Sausage. Oh, wait, what, 200 degrees, okay. This <laughs> On is... top, yeah, but we, we're trying to keep it at 175. 125. Not, not, yeah, not a lot for, of... Uh, for cold smoking sausage, you just want coals, coals. basically. Okay, 175 degrees. Yeah, so we just uh, got the pork, we got stock, we got onions, we got green onion, we got garlic, and then we just added mustard, vinegar, Worcestershire, hot sauce, pepper, wow. and then just kind of taking the edge off of it for a sec with the residual heat uh -huh. from the pots and so much, yeah. and then we're hitting with the immersion blender and then portioning it off. But yeah, all onions is tender, all the pork is tender. Hi, my name is New Pond, it's New Sign. I'm Lao, Lao Ocean. Uh, so what we do here is we do Lao barbecue specials. So we do Lao sausage and some other stuff like gai pin, which is like a smoked chicken thigh, uh, or smoked chicken basically, and lap and uh, mango sticky rice and some other stuff like that. But uh, for now, we're just doing Lao sausage. And what goes with the Lao sausage is this sauce called gel sang. Okay. So it's fish sauce, yeah. cilantro, lime juice, sugar, uh, and garlic, and Thai chilies in there. Thai chili. So it's like a fish saucy, spicy, little sweet, tangy sauce, and it goes really well with like meats and seafood as well too. Um, but what you do with the sauce, with the sauces, is you get a little bit of sausage, get some sticky rice, which con also comes with us with the dish, and we dip it into the sauce and eat it together. Wow. So it's more of like a dipping sauce, and it blows you with like a bunch of flavors. I can't get yeah. me to try, man. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks really a lot. No problem, <laughs> so this is our bread that we make in house. Uh, we're baking it right now. Um, we're baking it to a certain degree internally, so like 195 to 205, and they're pretty much done. Wow, it looks beautiful. This is, yes, uh, I think Lane was explaining how you, you kind of cold rise your bread, right? Which yeah, is we very, very special, right? That yeah, you make we it rise bread. it. Um, we, we also make the bread dough. We do all that good stuff to it. And uh, yeah, it's homemade. It's homemade, uh, homemade, homemade bread. Rolling, making banana pudding. Uh, right now, I'm straining it, and then we'll be done from there. All right, the banana pudding is, needs to be refrigerated. Yeah, uh, right. we'll let it cool down first before we refrigerate it, and uh, then we'll probably put it in the fridge later tonight. So what stage are they at now? Um, they're probably about seven or eight hours in. They're maybe like two hours into the stall, so they're getting wet. Okay. And, and right now I'm just doing tipping. the tip, right? You're doing the tip. You know, it's good when you don't really have to do a lot of them. 
So this one, we're looking yeah. pretty good, but there are still yeah. always a couple that you really do need to tip. Okay. I don't know if you can see yeah, that Yeah, you can one. see that. Okay, there's liquid there. Yep, and then so right, that liquid there, I you just, do a tip. I'm just going to... Do a, uh, she does a uh, left to right tip, <laughs> right side. And there's one oh, more here. I see a lot of liquid here. <laughs> right. yep. What they don't really know is that when you touch the brisket, you're passing on love. Yeah. So, you know, Chuck is transmitting her love to the brisket. And that's the secret to why the food is so good at Goldie's. Absolutely. So that's the secret. A, a, yeah. little kiss. a little kiss and a little gentle touch. So can you feel from the brisket how far along it is? Yeah. More or less. Um, what, what, what do you reckon? We are at now 80%, 90%? I'd say Ready to wrap? about... 60% 60% okay. um, so you can start to feel that the bark is starting to feel soft, soft. Uh -huh. and the fat is softening up and the, the lean is soft too and then that's also something too that you can tell that your fires have been going well because uh, nothing feels crunchy okay crunchy so crunchy means too hot right mm -hmm. crunchy and then also you can tell that's been a really good fire because your leans aren't curling up like this one yeah so this is the sticky rice trio basket so this is like the og way that we do it and um, i've never seen that in a pit, in a barbecue restaurant you got your pot right here and it's there's water filled in there okay and then you have the sticky rice basket with sticky rice in there okay like that okay. yeah and then you cover it up with whatever yeah. thing you can cover it up with yes and you let steam so that's sticky rice needs to steam rather than be directly cooking water. So you would not use a rice cooker? You wouldn't use a rice cooker. There's some like rice cookers that you use that could do it, but it's not gonna turn out Come the on, same nice consistency, right? Yeah. How's the flip down here? So you squeeze it a little bit so the sides don't stick. Yeah. And just pass it up and down. Okay, upside down and then put it back on. And then put it back on. This kind of reminds me of the Hawaiian rolls. Yeah. Right, it's got that kind of flavor. That sweetness. Mm, good, very good. and let it kind of marinate for a little bit here for a couple hours to get the flavors to melt. She makes sure the radius edge is kind of curved and a uh, little what I call a boat trip method. <laughs> All right, Pitmaster is loading her briskets. I think you should try one with my little black belt tip with the block of wood so you don't have to do a tipping. Yeah, so you just do an experiment on one, yeah. Do just do one. <laughs> Alright, so just yeah. gonna find a small chunk of wood, like tennis size chunk, so we can prop it up. It's probably gonna be a, like a little Bigger, like a like a tennis size, like a cube, like a cube, okay. like three inch cube. Can we find a three inch cube here? Yeah, so just use that as a as a prop in the middle. Oh, that's a good candidate. Yeah, that's a good candidate. Put, put right it right in the middle here, right in the middle, put it underneath, yeah, lift it up and let it lay so it kinda like has a little dome shape. Yeah, like that. Yeah, there you go. See, now now he's got a dome shape. He's gonna kind of drain off. So just like that. Just like that, you cook it like that, and uh, uh, it'll it'll now that okay. So there's a low spot here. Maybe we can push it a little bit this way. Push the oh, the, uh, the, 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 the the chunk okay. a little that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. So you can. Yeah. There we go. Now now you have no. You have all like a you know Astrodome. Astrodome. I drew my inspiration from Astrodome. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see how. It's <laughs> okay. Rice here we go. <laughs> yeah, Chuck is doing final seasoning on her final biscuit. You see the seasoning. amount of care that goes into food at Goldie's. You know why this is number one in the Texas Monthly because these yeah. people really are not just passionate. They're super focused in just good cooking technique, but their attention to detail is phenomenal. Okay, Master Jerby. Amir is loading up some drinks for everyone. So free beer. I'm good. All right, it's finally 11 a.m. and these folks have been standing out here in the cold since about 5, 6 a.m. Lines around the block here and uh, everybody's in line to get some great barbecue at Goldie's. And uh, we just opened at 11. Just finished serving some uh, appetizers in the line and everybody's uh, gonna get some great food today. Because uh, this requires dedication. I mean, you're, you're yeah. here a lot. I mean, for what, from Thursday through Sunday, it's, it's a lot of time spent here. 
So it is something that you, like, you definitely have to have the passion for to get the quality of number one. Yeah. And that's something that's scary to them for them, like um, mm -hmm. uh, if they want to get employees. Because it's, like, yeah. it's such a you need the love, like you need to. Yeah. If you hire somebody to do this, right? I mean, they they won't be able to, like, you know, do it as well as the person who's passionate, right? Yeah. This is a craft technique, right? Special sauce with fish sauce and then cheers. 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 Okay, man. Some of the best sauces I've ever had. This is truly a very unique experience and unique flavor. Let's do the brisket next. And uh, brisket, absolutely gorgeous. Look at the color. Definitely, definitely world class brisket here. Okay, let me try pork hash now. Wow. Can't go wrong with a good potato salad. It's really good potato salad. Thank you guys all for stopping by. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Cheers.